So for number six, here is how you can use the table to complete the graph. The independent quantity is going to represent your x-axis. The dependent quantity is going to represent your y-axis. So you want to use then the values that are in the table and graph those values um, in order to complete the graph. Here is how you would plot 750 and 3750. Here is how you would plot 10 and 50. And here is how you would plot 1999 and 9995. So this is what my graph will look like when I use my table of values. The x-axis is representing the independent variable and the y-axis is representing the dependent variable. Thanks for watching.